Uh, we got back from the A&B press conference this morning. I'm just relaxing on my feet right now because we have a whole bunch of videos to be bringing you here from Computex, but we're going to be discussing the few interesting things that AMD announced today right after this word from our sponsors. Our Computex coverage is brought to you by Wootwear, Palette, and Fantex. Check them out at the links in the video description. Also, big thanks to MSI for sending us here to Computex 2018. We're excited to show off what their true gaming brand has to offer on display this year. So I'll get it right out of the way up front. All of the big announcements that everybody was really, really hoping for, such as the 2800X or some new Vega card that was coming to consumers, absolutely was not released. However, that doesn't mean that there weren't some exciting things. So please stick with the video, don't click off now. We're gonna talk about what it actually went down. So AMD claims that Ryzen has sold 5 million units since their launch in March of 2017. They also then said 5 million users, but I'm pretty sure one unit doesn't equal one user, especially since we have like six of them in the office. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy that 5 million people are running Ryzen, but I can buy that 5 million units were sold, but with that, one of the things that Ryzen has been sorely out of place from is the laptop market. And so today, Acer showed off one of their Predator notebooks with a Ryzen 7 2700, not you, the full desktop chip, which is something that we all really want, plus an RX Vega 56 graphics card. So this isn't like the Vega graphics cards that have been in laptops previously where they're cut down on the compute units and they're cut down on the, te on the performance. This is a fully fledged Vega 56 in a laptop with a fully fledged 2700 Ryzen 7 processor. I'm looking forward to getting my hand on this. I absolutely want to review it. It could end up like the Asus Notebook with the 1700 and the RX 580 last year where they announced it at Computex. It took like six months to get it and then nobody really bought it and it's a huge dud. It could also be that, but we'll have to see. But then we got some exciting news about Threadripper. It is indeed going to be coming the Q3 of this year, possibly around August to uh, October, because that's Q3. So Threadripper 2 is coming in Q3 of this year and they announced that the highest end unit is going to be a 32 core 64 thread unit and they like I can't even believe that that makes me so happy we're getting the epic performance down in the enthusiast platform for our x399 and potentially new chipset boards that they might be announcing later on they had a few demos to showcase the performance of this new threadripper setup they did a 24 core threadripper versus the 18 core 7980xe in a blender test and obviously the 24 core one because it has six more cores which is 33 percent more so why wouldn't it win but one of the interesting things that they noted even though we didn't get to see it was the fact that the 79 ADXE was water cooled because we know that they have a huge TDP and they like the VRMs are just like everything is hot about those chips. The 24 core was cooled by air cooling, which is going to be by that Cooler Master Ryzen Threadripper cooler that I saw on the show floor. Absolutely glorious. As soon as it's in South Africa, I'm definitely picking one up. Then for epic news, they announced, which is also something that we've heard before, and that is seven nanometer is going to be happening with Epic in 2019. They already have it working in the labs. They said everything's going good, but that's obviously marketing speak, and we'll just have to see how it goes. Well, we should be getting seven nanometer CPUs from AMD sometime next year. And then seven nanometer graphics cards are absolutely a thing now. So Radeon Instinct is what they're calling the Vega that they're releasing on seven nanometers. They're already sampling it out to customers so people already have their hands on this and they did do a showcase in cinema 4d of its performance looked pretty great obviously i can't benchmark it because i don't have my hands on it but they're excited to have seven nanometers working with instinct vega now obviously the question that comes in there is when are gamers going to get that and they absolutely addressed it lisa sue definitely talked about it and she said don't worry gamers you will be getting seven nanometer graphics cards but that doesn't obviously indicate whether or not we're gonna get seven nanometer Vega, which is highly unlikely, or we're gonna to have to wait until Navi, which should be coming out in 2019, which is the more likely scenario. However, she guaranteed us that we're gonna get seven nanometer GPUs. It was a big tease to the crowd and trying to, you know, I, because people were asking, where are the graphics cards? At least if she answers that, that gives us some, uh, you know, suasion. We're suaded uh, when, when she'll talk about that. So seven nanometers is coming to consumer. 
we don't know when, we don't know what architecture we're going to be getting it with, but it looks like that AMD could be the first to the market with the seven nanometer GPUs for gamers, which will be pretty great. Anyways, that's all I have from the AMD press conference this morning. Please be sure to let me know which excitement announcement are you excited for? Because it's all excitement to me. I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below or in the community discord. Let's chat down there. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you enjoyed this video, also want to thank our sponsors yet again, Wootware, Palette, Fantex, and MSI. Big thanks to them for sending us here to Computex 2018. Rickus wouldn't be here without them. No, no, None of the other UFD tech team would be here. We wouldn't be able to be live streaming the press conference without them. So big thanks to them. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. Yes, I'm wearing the heavy metal thread ripper shirt that they gave out at the press conference this morning. I, I, I really like it. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Yes, I'm in bed. I'm going to get out of bed. We just have a lot more work to do today. So I thought I, I would take this one chill. So thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video for the next Computex thing. Cheers.